Hey everyone, I'm Kevin. Welcome to the Married Life of Rich and Kevin. And today we've got a candle haul from um, Book and Reverie Candles out of Manhattan. Um, proprietress is a young woman named Leah and she does bookish and uh, fantasy inspired candles and um, got two books here to uh, display for you and um, so here we are here and let's see I don't think I really remember what all I ordered these were ordered uh, between three and four weeks ago normally uh, Leah's orders ship out within two weeks but as you all may remember we had that big old winter storm uh, that came through and dumped um, a ton of snow on New York and uh, disrupted uh, the postal service for a little over a week so anyway these all arrived and now we're going to do the great unboxing. And uh, <laughs> we got a little visitor here. This is uh, this is Ethel Wolf. Smile for the camera, buddy. And he is going to be interested in the goings on here. So let me get this all undone. Right. Maybe. There we go. Um, as you can see, well packed with um, nice card here. Thank you. Journey into the magic of your imagination with storytelling candles inspired by books and reveries. And then, of course, candle care on the back. And. Um, Still have the uh, the pink confetti and the are the uh, these are the degradable packing peanuts. Kind of tastes like unsugared corn pops. So uh, that's always a nice touch that there's biodegradable packing material. Okay, uh, the freebie little tea light sampler is Bellatrix from her. Uh, Harry Potter line and I actually think I ordered one of the big jars of those so we'll get to that in a minute oh this is good this is good cauldron smoke dark current and hemlock that's a very good one okay so thank you very much all right let's see what we got here this was an order of four And uh, very well packaged in bubble wrap. So, all right. Ah, this one is called Cup of Stars. You can see it's got cool glitter there and uh, neat swirl on top. This is from. The Haunting of Hill House, which is a horror classic by Shirley Jackson and was made into a very successful uh, Netflix series. Uh, Haunting of Hill House um, was the first in the series and The Haunting of Bly Manor was the sequel. But this says, insist on your cup of stars. And the scent is warm tea, honey cake, and haunted memory. <laughs> oh man. Mm. This is really good. This is really, really good. And I don't care for food smells in my candles, but I am I am really grooving on this. Oh, that is wonderful. Picture burning this in front of a fireplace on a rainy day. Uh, folks, you can't go wrong with this one. Cup of stars. I think I ordered two of those. Let me look here. I did. Okay. 
And uh, yeah, we won't waste time with that one, but well packaged. And let's see, this one is The next is Spring Court uh, from the book series A Court of Thorn and Roses, if, if anyone has read that. Um, green Ivy, Wildflowers, and Incense. Neat swirl and a uh, little uh, decorative wax plant there. Oh, wow. This smells like an outdoor courtyard with uh, some burners burning some incense. Oh, wow. This is another good one. Okay, Spring Court. Now, next we have... from her winter line, uh, Winter Witch, with uh, the scent of spiced honey, brandy, and pears. Woodwick. Oh, wow. Leah, you are absolutely amazing with your scent combinations. This is wonderful. I'm getting all three notes. Honey, brandy, and pears. This this is another winner. Winter Witch. And um, I don't know how many of the uh, win winter line is going to be available for much longer. Um, she had several, several very clever, very good ones. Um, one of our favorites was the lore of the winter woods and that was um incense snow and birch and we really we really enjoyed that one and um and i think this next package has got a couple of the winter ones in so that was this books and um to save some time i cut into the other one and um again packaged in the same fashion, complete with card, sticker, and another little tea light sample called Beach Books and Sun. If I can get it open. There we are. This is going to go on my next order. Beach Books and Sun. This is this is very clean, um, fresh. You get sort of a tang of ocean, uh, the the salty mineral uh, qualities of it, not not the brininess or the fishy smell. Ah. This is another winner, and I like that um, this does not smell like coconut or suntan lotion. Hey, kitty. Kitty's playing in the books. I like that uh, this doesn't smell like suntan lotion or coconut. Um, if you see, pick up some other uh, candle brands with a, a beach uh, theme, it seems to invariably smell like uh, one or both of those those things and I don't pick up any of that here thank you again for another free sample here okay digging in all right this first one is from a Harry Potter collection uh, George or George Weasley uh, the scent combination of brandied cherries, books, and chocolate frogs. And you've got the neat purple and orange on top. 
Again, I, I don't care for food scents, but this is this is really good. Yeah, you get everything. Cherries, the chocolate, little whiff of the uh, of the brandy. Very very good. Okay, George. And this one is. This one is Hawk from the Blood and Ash series, I believe. Cypress, Clove, and Wood Smoke. Another swirl there. Oh, this was in an amber jar, so this must have been um, part of an older inventory because. Um, she was having trouble uh, with her suppliers getting amber jars, hence the, the switching over to the clear ones for the time being. This is very outdoorsy. It's got a nice spice to it, sharpness from the clove. This is really good. Okay, Hawk. Another Harry Potter inspired one, House of Black. And if that is not a menacing looking label, I don't know what is. I am continually amazed by how creative her label design is. Uh, House of Black, of course, uh, Sirius Black, and uh, the base for the Order of the Phoenix. And the scent notes here are perfumed incense, dark wood, and order. Which probably means creatures running around somewhere. And it smells like you would think the inside of Sirius Black's home smells. Residue of burnt incense over the years, dark wood that um, it's probably being well oiled, even if it's dusty. Order almost has a somber smell to it. Not depressing, not not oppressive, but just kind of somber. Very very serious, almost studious fragrance. I love this. Okay, House of Black. All right. Okay, another one from the Winter Collection, Book and Snowstorms. Books and Snowstorms. Night, scent notes are Night, Peppermint, and Winter Woods. Ah. Yeah, easy to imagine that this is what all three of these notes would smell like. This is this is wonderful. It's the peppermint seems to be the dominant note to my nose and rounded out by the other two two fragrance descriptions. Um, one thing I like about this peppermint is it's not sweet. A lot of uh, your, your peppermint fragrance, uh, candles and notes, um, seem to have a little bit of vanilla mixed in with them. This is, mm, this is nice and sharp and cold smelling. And it's, uh, it's a shame that winter's almost over. I wish I would have known about this and, uh, had an order filled before the snows blew through here. <laughs> We'd be burning this 24-7 until it was gone. Mm. Books and snowstorms. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Okay. Uh 
hop, the large size of Bellatrix. Hemlock Dark Current Cauldron Smoke. Mm. It has a maybe it's it's the the flowers on the label. The um, well, it could also be the the death's head on the label as well, but. The first thing that comes to my mind is um, a spray of flowers that drape uh, some coffins. Not to be morbid, but this is Bellatrix after all. This is good. This has got a... It almost... I keep thinking of funeral flowers and, and poison and <laughs> basically every every kind of uh, uh, evil evil queen or evil minion uh, trick in the book here. This is really good. This is really rich and floral and fruity without being sweet. So this is this is good. Okay, Bellatrix. And the last one for this installment is another Harry Potter inspired one, uh, Wise House. Uh, Wise House is Ravenclaw. And you can see uh, the Rowena Ravenclaw's diadem there on the label. Wit beyond measure is man's greatest treasure. Uh, mixture scent notes of night air books and clever magic. And uh, this has, you can see, has uh, neat glitter with that beautiful, beautiful blue color. And uh, This is nice. This is nice and fresh and a little bit of coolness to it. It's, it's not a cold scent, but it's not a warm one. It, yeah, I can see. I can see studying with uh, in the evenings with the windows open and smelling this. Mm, this is another winner, and um, of course the, the color is is beautiful. You get that beautiful royal blue going for you. Mm, okay, Wise House. So, um, some haul. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of them. And um, a lot of these will, will go to... Um, gifts for for the boys are our, our nephews they're they're both in their uh, early 20s and um, we'll probably also uh, gift a couple to our girls yes these are all luxury items to my way of thinking luxury items are important they they serve a purpose they don't have to be big um, I remember when I was in college and uh, when I was first starting out and, and had that first job that um, you know was able to cover all the monthly expenses, but there in the beginning it, it didn't leave too much over for anything else, left over for anything else. And how thrilled I was when for birthday or for Christmas or for no reason at all, um, an aunt uh, aunt or uncle or my folks would, um, you know, give me a candle or, you know, a box of, of gourmet candy or, or something like that that just, um, you know, it was just something nice to, to take the edge off of, um, you know, living within a budget and, and, 
um, seeing things that would be nice to have, but you know, at that point in time, really couldn't spare the money for it. So, luxury items. Love to pass them out. Uh, love to bless people with them and hear how they enjoy it. And uh, Leah, again, you have knocked it out of the park. So uh, that's it for now. Again, uh, Books and Reverie. It's a Etsy store. Etsy. I still don't know the proper pronunciation for it. We will put the link in the description. So um, check them out. She's got a wide offering of candles. Um, the Harry Potter, Potter series is great. Um, I picked my candles based on the scent notes and uh, as opposed to the characters, but uh, nothing wrong with picking a candle that represents your favorite character. So until next time, everybody take care and we'll talk soon.